Look at this. Is this amazing or what? Well, good afternoon, everybody. A little departure from my normal morning ride from Awake or Einstein's. Today I'm actually starting out at the house. You can see winter time is coming because of all the leaves. Here in the driveway we have these oak trees that shed all their leaves and the wind blows right into my garage so I'm constantly having to sweep out the garage for these big oak leaves. Oh well. So today it is such a beautiful day that I just wanted to get out and go for a little ride and uh, talk to you a little bit, take you along for the ride. It is 73 degrees. Can you believe it? No wind. I have to go through my lake here at the end of my driveway that the city refuses to fix. We have a low spot in the street. So I have to ride through the water every time we come in or go out of the house. But anyway, just a gorgeous day as you can see. Just perfect. And I uh, thought I would just catch you up on some of the stuff going on. Uh, you probably saw that I uh, replaced my front brake pads in my latest video. And man, I'm telling you, you can really tell a difference in the... I mean, they are really biting now. Now I'm going to, in my next video, uh, when I get back in town, I'll be out of town for a couple of days, but when I get back, I'm going to be doing the uh, uh, brake fluid flush and bleed uh, on my whole brake system. And I'll go ahead and do a visual inspection on the rear brake pads, but I checked them just a few thousand miles ago, and they looked really good. I mean, they looked almost brand new. But boy, those front brake pads were definitely ready to be replaced. They were not looking good. So I'm glad I got that done and got those replaced. Uh, just to let you know some other things that are coming up. I will be doing a video per your request. I've had several people, I say several, a few people request that I do a video on riding gear that I wear in the winter time when, or in cold weather. Now I don't ride in the cold weather that some of you guys ride in. You know, usually if it gets below 40 degrees, I usually don't ride. Uh, there are exceptions to that, but generally speaking, I try to keep in the 40 degree above range. So I will be doing a video, one of the other videos I'm going to be doing when I get back is just kind of go over all the different riding gear that I wear. I just ordered a new thermal um, undergarment from Bon Armor that I'm going to be wearing in the winter. Because right now what I've been doing in cold weather, not today because it's nice, but what I've been doing is I've been wearing my Bon Armor, uh, the Ultra Mesh or the Mesh plus my Olympia liner, plus the Olympia jacket. And that's three different layers, and it's just kind of cumbersome to have to do all that. So I'm hoping this new thermal liner from Bond Armor will make that extra layer unnecessary. I ought to turn off my heated grips and seat. It's too, it's too nice out. I don't need those. Turn those off. Uh, just nice to get out in the beautiful weather on a day when it's not windy. Uh, I just love calm weather riding days. So we got the brake pads done. I got the new battery in. I'm just getting the bike all kind of dressed up, you know, in the winter time. Uh, eventually, probably sometime in December maybe, I may do a radiator flush. I did one... Gosh, I'll have to look back at my records. It wasn't too, too long ago, so I don't know that I even need to do one until maybe 
the spring. But I usually try to get all this stuff done before the riding season. So that when I get ready to take the bike to West Texas or something, you know, the only thing I'm thinking in the back of my head is I don't know what's going to happen with the 2022 Gold Wings. Are they going to come out with something that's so compelling that I'm just going to have to force myself to go take a look at one seriously? I just don't know. Um, so, you know, there's no need to do a, a lot of excessive stuff on this bike until I know. But we'll see. I like to keep the bike up maintained anyway. I'll probably sell this bike. I don't know if I'd trade it in anyway. I'll probably sell it. I mentioned in my last video briefly, I didn't ever get to the details. I mentioned to you that I do have a GoPro Hero 8 uh, that I would sell if anybody's interested because I'm using the GoPro Hero 10 on my helmet. I'm still using the 8 on my handlebars. And the uh, GoPro Hero 8 that I used to use, oh, I got in the wrong lane. I wonder if I can get over quick enough. I doubt it. That's okay, I can go a different way. But my uh, the GoPro Hero 8 I have, and uh, if anybody wants it, I accept PayPal. That's all, really the only way I do it. And then uh, you know, I'll ship it out to you. And I've still, I think I still have all the original packaging and everything. So let's just say with shipping and all the hassle and everything let's just call it hundred and fifteen dollars uh, and I'll include the media mod which is this little thing that goes around the camera that's the media mod has like its own microphones it allows you to connect an external microphone which is what I do here I have a lavalier mic you can see the wire hanging down here so the media mod, I think, is like a six fifty or sixty dollar option. I'll just throw that in, and I'll include a brand new thirty two gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So anybody that's interested, the first one that uh, contacts me and you know lets me know, I'll send you my PayPal information, and uh, you can uh, purchase that. I probably won't be able to ship it out to you until I get back in town. I'll be leaving town tomorrow for a few days, so I may not get it shipped out until, I'd say, probably a week from today would be about the earliest I could ship it out to you. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I've got a few other things I need to get rid of that I've got sitting around the garage, too. I'll probably do a video on that in the future. So I'm going to be doing the uh, brake fluid video. I'll be doing a video on the riding gear. And I'm also working on a new video of uh, tools. So I hope to have that done when I get back. And, uh, and it's time for another crown in comments. I've been collecting a lot of good comments and emails from you. And uh, I think when I get back, we'll either do a coffee in comments or a crown in comments, whichever one you prefer. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like crown in comments where I'm drinking my crown royal in the evening, which I tend to get a little loosened up when I do that, or do you prefer the coffee in comments, which I tend to do in the mornings? Well, let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. I kind of like the crown in comments. It's a little easier for me to shoot a video in the evening than it is in the, in the uh, morning. So let me know in the video down below. Look at this. Is this amazing or what? Now I know the roads aren't amazing. It's just a flat road. But boy, as far as the weather goes, you just can't beat it. It's just beautiful. Are you getting any good, beautiful days like this where you live? Occasionally during the winter, we'll get these days where it just really comes out really nice. It's 75 degrees right now on my uh, dash. And I think it's even going to get up a little bit warmer than that tomorrow. But of course, we'll be gone. We'll be uh, out of town. And just so you know, uh, I'll actually be doing another... Uh, uh, we're doing another cruise for uh, cruisereport.com channel. It's just a two-day cruise. 
brand new ship coming out they invited us to come on and do some shoot some video and images of the ship and we'll put all that over on cruisereport.com so if you're interested in cruising uh, you can always check out that channel as well and i forgot to ask you i forgot to mention if you're passionate about motorcycles don't forget to click the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our family i told you i've got a big announcement coming up uh, it's pertaining to 2022. I was going to tell you about it before I left town, but I think I'll just wait until I get back and make that announcement. Maybe I'll do it in the crown and comments or the coffee and comments, whichever one we decide on. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you the, that, that announcement, but um, that's nothing earth shattering. It's important to me. I don't know how much, how important it'll be to you. And it's about time for just about time for another oil change, oil and filter change on this uh, 2018 DCT. I've got 22,192 miles on this bike. I changed those brake pads at 22,174. Somebody was asking me that online, what the, uh, you know, how many miles I was able to get out of those front brake pads. And somebody said they didn't change theirs till 35,000 miles. Man, that's a, that's a lot of miles on a set of brake pads. He must he must ride really, uh, like I, I told him in the comments, he must just coast to a stop when he <laughs> when he stops because I don't know, that's a lot of miles for a set of brake pads. But normally I'll get about 20 to 25,000 miles. And as I mentioned in my video, I was I'm I'm concerned. I think a lot of you are concerned that there's uneven wear between the inside brake pads and the outside brake pads, and I'm not really exactly sure what would cause that. Um, I know there are some people that I've seen on Facebook or on on social media that have said their brake pads are wearing evenly, but I have seen a lot of people. Uh, with this uh, symptom that I have on mine where the brake pads wear unevenly. I would say 25 to 30% more wear on that inside pad than on the outside pad. And it was even more dramatic on the right brake caliper as opposed to the left, which I was surprised. The inside pad on the right brake caliper was almost, it was almost completely past the wear indicators. Thank you, appreciate it. Another uh, admirer. I get that quite often. I get people at stoplights quite often uh, compliment me on the bike. I'm afraid that sometimes I'm listening to the radio and I can't hear them. Sometimes I'm listening to the radio and I'm oblivious to people sitting next to me at a light or something talking. So do you get comments on your bike? Do people compliment you on your Goldwing or whatever you're riding? Put it in the comments down below, let me know. So that's about it for me today. Nothing, like I said, nothing really earth shattering. Just a beautiful day for a ride. I wanted to get out, update you on uh, what's coming up. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.